I'm going to talk about Road Rage and my experience with Road Rage. Um, because I had quite a problem with Road Rage for several years. It was built up and was getting to a point where um, it was getting out of hand. And um, so basically, you know, I would react to so many things um, while driving. You know, I mean, we all, we all pretty much know what these things are because, uh, you know, I see this many people. I mean, if you have road rage, you know what I'm talking about. And I know many people have this problem because I see it constantly. So, and I recognize it because I had the exact same thing and went through the same thing. So, um, you know, what are some examples? Like, somebody pulls in front of you, you know, and I would have immediate reactions like, what the fuck, you know, um, I'm here, what are you doing, you know, um, and you know, it, would, it would be this immediate reaction of going into judgment towards the other person, like, why are they doing this to me, how rude of them, um, how inappropriate, aren't they paying attention, um, you know, learn how to drive, um, you know, I wouldn't do that shit, um, and, you know, what's funny is that, uh, you know, I also realized that there was many times where, you know, I would, uh, well, basically, because the whole mindset of the road rage is kind of like this starting point of me, 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 um, you know, it's like, uh, a total point of self-interest, wherein it's like, I've got somewhere to go, I'm trying to get somewhere, and you're in my way, and, you know, it's like me against everybody else, um, and then, you know, when you're driving from that mindset, driving becomes really frustrating because, like, all you're doing is thinking about you, and you, so you're, but you're kind of not realizing and considering the fact that you're actually driving within and around many, many, many other beings, and you're, like, totally disregarding them. So when you're disregarding everyone else and only thinking of yourself, you're kind of forcing everyone else's hand in having to concern, be only concerned with themselves and having to fight everyone else. So it's like everyone together is totally creating and supporting this um, everyone out for yourself um, situation when you're driving because we're not all considering everyone equally as in we all have an equal right to be using the road, as in we all have an equal uh, right to, to get where it is we need to go, you know, I mean, because you can apply the equality equation here, which I mentioned in, in a previous video, and I'll provide a link to that in case you don't know what I'm talking about, but basically you can apply the equality equation here in seeing that, like, well, when I'm driving, I like to, you know, my purpose is to get where I'm going, so then you can apply that equally to everyone and then realize, Oh, when everyone is driving, they're just trying to get where they're going as well. So it's like we both are trying to get where we're going. So if you approach this from a perspective of how can we assist each other and effectively both get where we're going, you know, without any issues, then things go much smoothly. But when it's this out for yourself kind of mentality, this is where you get people slamming on brakes and honking horns and like all this shit, you know. I mean, it's not to say that honking horns is, um, you know, like, something that's bad or you don't want to do, because there's times where that's a very useful device for a quick, like, hello, um, I mean, like, a warning, not necessarily, like, hi, you know, hello, <laughs> um, but, you know, it's a, it can be a useful tool to, like, get somebody's attention in the moment, but often it's used in times where it's not very effective. You know, like, where the problem has already happened, and you're just using it to express anger. Like, this is how angry I am, and I want you to know! As if it does anything, you know? I mean, it's, like, so counter common sense. Because if you have a look, like, you know, here's this person, they've made some sort of mistake, got in front of you or something, and, you know, 
pretty good chances are they didn't really mean any offense, you know, but perhaps they needed to get over in that lane and nobody was letting them, you know, so they had to fend for themselves. And so then to go and, like, honk and, you know, scream at them, like, to let them know that you're so mad, as if that's going to stop them from doing it. You know, the problem isn't that, you know, they needed to consider, I need to not move, change lanes ever just in case I might make somebody mad. You know, like, that's ridiculous. Obviously, we can't drive like that and get around anywhere. So, um, so, but, you know, I was myself a victim of this, so to speak, um, road rage. Actually, only a victim of yourself, because it's oneself that participates in it and feeds it and builds it. So, you know, by, by having these thoughts, by allowing these reactions, I was compounding it and compounding it to the point where I would have these reactions, like, so immediately that, I mean, it would just happen instantly, like, whoa, what the fuck, you know, this guy's an asshole. And then I would, and then it's like, after the initial reaction, I would be like, well, come on, you don't actually know what is going on, you know, he, maybe he's just made a mistake. I mean, what would you, how would you like to be treated if you've just made a mistake? You know, do you want somebody to instantly judge you? So it's like I could see those common sense points, um, and yet I hadn't yet realized, you know, that uh, the point was like to stop feeding the points of um, resentment and judgment. Um, you know, it was as if I thought that the resentment and judgment was going to change anything, or that by acting that way, it was somehow going to make people stop, you know, driving and doing silly things and getting in my way. Um, but it didn't at all. It just got, just, it only ever made things worse. Um, you know, like, for example, um, you know, I see this all the time still, and I'm just, like, that's unfortunate because I can see that person needs to be supported to stop these points, or, th or they're going to have consequences manifesting, you know, by participating in this, um, uh, road rage, um, wherein I'll see when somebody, you know, gets into a lane in front of someone else, and the person that they get in front of, um, you know, is obviously not happy that this person has come in front of them, and they will, like, slow down as little as possible and be right on their bumper, as if to show them, this was my spot, I was here, and I'm so very, you know, you shouldn't have come here, and... You know, which is obviously ridiculous, because if that person needs to get in that lane, you know, I mean, if you put yourself in that position, if you were them and you needed to get in the lane, you know, like, look at you from the outside. Look at you from someone else's perspective. Put yourself on, like, the receiving end of you, so to speak, and how would you react to that, honestly? You know, not in any kind of, like, an effective way. You know, you'd probably just get just as pissed off, you know? Um... So, therefore, obviously that behavior isn't helping anything. And, I mean, I used to do that too, where, I mean, I can totally see that exact reaction that I would have. You know, the person would come in front of me, and I would be like, oh, what the fuck? You know, now I have to slow down. And, you know, but I don't want to slow down. <laughs> As if somehow I own this spot of air, you know, that is moving. Like, I mean, it's just so ridiculous. And, I mean, the common sense is, you know, if somebody, if, if you're driving, you're moving along at some speed, and there's an object in front of you that's moving at a slower speed, what's the common sense thing to do? You slow down, but, you know, in these road rage moments, you don't see that. You see the total opposite common sense. You know, you see people, like, you know, trying not to slow down at all, and just staying right on them to let them know, like, I don't like what you did. And I remember I would even be thinking, like, you know that I should be acting that way towards them to get them the message that you don't do that because, like, that's a dangerous thing to do. But hello, what's the dangerous thing to do? How about not slowing down when some a slower-moving object has come in front of me? I mean, it's like, this is the kind of ego bullshit we participate in, which is just so ridiculous. Um, but really, you know, so I started to really get pissed off that I would have these reactions and I couldn't control it, especially when I was realizing, like, you know, putting myself in the other situation and realizing, like, if that was me, you know, and because it did happen to me. There were times where I needed to get into some lane and 
um, you know, and nobody was letting me in, so, like, I kind of had to push my way in, and then people get mad, and it's like, you know, what could you do? Um, and so realizing, you know, putting myself in that position and realizing it, it made me realize that it's, like, totally pointless the way I was acting and allowing myself to get, um, angry towards people, you know, what was that doing? And what really pissed me off the most was that it was actually causing me a lot of suffering and pain and turmoil and stress and fucking sucking the life out of me to be participating in this. I mean, I would be so stressed out after some days where, like, a lot of these events happened that I would react to, and I would be so stressed after it. And, um you know, it sucked, so, I mean, that was, like, really strong motivation for me to stop, because, um, I was getting really tired of that, and, I mean, it was, like, I couldn't control it, you know, it would, it would just happen so immediately, and I was, like, really freaked out that I wasn't in control of my own behavior, you know, like, I was possessed, and that was fucking kind of scary shit, you know, when you can't control yourself, um, you know, because then consequences can happen that, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to stop. I mean, that's that's what will happen if you just keep compounding this shit. I mean, I've seen it happen too, where it becomes so compounded that then you just snap and then you fucking hurt somebody or yourself and then there's like serious consequences for that and, you know, it majorly changes your life, you know, not for the better. So, um, you know, these are some points to consider, um, you know, if you find yourself like I did, you know, in these points of road rage, and to realize that you actually can stop it, because I didn't really see that at the time, and, um, but, um, yeah, you definitely can stop these thoughts. I used the process of, uh, self-forgiveness, well, I guess it's not really a process, it's more just, um, you know, in the moment, what I did was, uh, Whenever a reaction came up, I'd forgive myself for that reaction. You know, I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to think that person's a fucker, or to get upset that somebody's pulled in front of me, or to get upset that they're going slower than I'd like to go, and... So I just kept on applying self-forgiveness, and for everything that came up, and, you know, eventually it got to the point where I wasn't having the reactions anymore. Like, if the reaction came up, I could breathe bring myself back here, stop the reaction, and now I don't have these reactions anymore, and <laughs> and my driving is so much more effective now, um, and, you know, it even changes, like, it changes, so to speak, my outer world, because then I'm showing an example to people, like, like let's work together, because we're all here on this road together, trying to get where we need to go, and you know, let's show each other that we can actually cooperate and be effective. And, you know, things just go much more smoothly. Um, but I still see a lot of road rage shit out there that needs to be cleared up. Um, you know, but then just think of how many accidents less we can have. And But, I mean, a large part of the problem of why we're in such a state of hurry all the time is because of the current money system, wherein... Um, you know, we're all in fucking debt, our money is debt, and therefore it's like we're always in debt, we're always behind, we're always late, you know, we're always rushing, 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 trying to catch up, trying to, you know, get as much time as we can because we have to work so fucking much. So, I mean, let's end that shit so that we actually have time and we're not worried about trying to save ten fucking minutes while we're driving, you know, and getting into accidents and yelling at people and, you know, getting all stressed out and killing ourselves from the inside out, you know, so, so, um, so investigate an equal money system, because an equal money system will take out that survival mode, um, and allow us to have the time to take the time, you know, to just be here and not be in a constant rush, 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 rush. So, um, yeah, investigate equal money, and then also for support on, um, stopping road rage, and stopping thoughts in general that are controlling you and stopping mind possessions, um, go to destiny.co.za, I'll post the links, and check out the forums there, where there's tons of us there that's all supporting each other 
to work through these things and like to take control back of your life, um, which is pretty cool. So I just suggest check all those things out. Thanks. Thank you.